After a long and dueling season, we now begin our road to Manchester. And our first stop is here in West Yorkshire in Leeds, and we're back at the Edge Leisure Centre to see a repeat of last year's grand final. It's the Leeds Rhinos versus the Halifax Panthers. Both sides are unchanged from last week's game, which Halifax won by 52 points to 36. But if there's anything without doubt, this is going to be an absolute cracker. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the highlights. So I'm here with James Simpson. You're back in the grand final again, but what a what a game! What a what a spectacular effort here! 54-44 win. Yeah, you um, must be drained. 
Yeah, I am, mate. Being a coach is more stressful than I thought it was going to be. Do you know, when I used to coach and play, you could make an impact more on the field, but we played them last week at theirs and we purposely didn't show them everything. We purposely, you know, played certain players out of position to try and give them a big, big sense of, of they could come here and they could beat us. So today we put it all on the line, mate. Everything we trained for, everything we practised, we put on the line today and it paid off. I think defensively, that's the best performance I've seen since you played the Dragons in the Challenge Cup final last season. Would yeah. you agree? Yeah, absolutely. Do you know, I think all the players knew it's down to them. My job's done now. It's down to them to go out there and deliver. And they were all so up for it. And you've got players who've been playing 10, 12 years here. Sometimes it's hard to get up for it. So you need a game like this for them to, you know, to get up for it and, and want to deliver. But I thought every single one of our players who went out there was absolutely extant. Outstanding. Absolutely. Outstanding. Josh had a great game. Jody had a great game. Tom had a great game. Tom Scraps played the best he played all year. Josh, uh, Josh played his consistent self that has been doing. Do you know, yeah, mate, it's been absolutely fantastic. And commiserations to Halifax. You know, I know they really wanted this, and but you know, it's the, you need to build a team. Do you know, at the moment they're paying players to come over from France, and that's not building a team. And it makes me a bit sad for the Halifax players who are sacrificing and they're working hard and they're grafting to just get pushed out because these players are getting paid to come over and Halifax need to go back and build a team and come again next year. Well, we've seen you now you focus on two weeks time. How does it feel to be a coach instead of a player coach this time? It's just more stressful. Like I said, you can't make a, a decision. You, you can't make an impact. You're just on the sideline. You've got to get it on and let the players work around and do it all. But absolutely buzzing, mate. And as for Wigan and London, I, I don't mind. Do you know, take Wigan for the big... Super League clash Wigan Warriors, but then you've got a team like London who they're us a few years ago, they're building, they're, they're in some of their players in their third final, and um, yeah, I don't, we'll see who we get, mate, but I'm excited. Are you going to worry about keeping another half an eye on the game? Uh, I'll be keeping both eyes on it, mate. Yeah, I love wheelchair rugby league and I love like semi finals, it's, it's what you want, isn't it? But um, yeah, mate, I'm, I'm looking forward to the final. You're going to celebrate tonight, though? I would if I didn't have to get home for the dogs. I've left them too long, so I'll probably have a bottle of wine at home with my, with my partner, yeah. Well, congratulations. We'll see you in Manchester. Oh, thanks, mate. Appreciate it every time. So I'm here with Tom Halliwell. You're back in the grand final. How's that excited? Oh, yeah, it's a good feeling. Good feeling. We've, we've been progressively getting better as the, as the year's gone on. And uh, to get to another grand final on the big stage, it's, it's, it's the best feeling ever. And would you gone. say that was your best defensive performance since the Challenge Cup final last season? Yeah, probably, probably. We've, we've been going in and out of games like for a while, so it's been a bit of a hit and miss this year with defence-wise, but it's good that we've uh, we knuckled down today and we knew we were going to be defensive winter games and we just didn't connect to them. I think it's the first time you've ever stopped Halifax from scoring a try in the first half ever. That's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, we, we were happy, but we didn't want to get ahead of ourselves and well, they come back in the second half, so we, we did get a little bit ahead of ourselves, but um, now nah, we hung in deep and it was a tight squeeze at the end, but we managed to get the job done. Is it good to get one over seven in the end? <laughs> he's, I, think he's, I think he's got more, more on me this year than I've got on him, so I'll be, I'll be looking after that. But nah, it's so, so friendly banter and stuff between me and him. I love him to pieces. But when we're on the field, it's, it's a bit of a war, and we had a nice little hug and kiss after, so. <laughs> so no tongues, I bet. <laughs> no, 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 tongues, no tongues this time. <laughs> looking forward to the grand final. You'll be keeping an eye on the other semi final next weekend? Uh, we just know we're going to go up against a good team, whether that be Wigan or London, we're both 40 sides. And, We've done our homework on them this year. London, done, London have uh, beaten us this year already. So, uh, yeah, I'm not really bothered. We're going to play out and we're just going to focus on us and see what happens. I'm mean, aware in your performance today, you did some fantastic passing off to Josh Butler to finish him off. And uh, are you pleased that he's made the team of the season? Yeah, definitely, definitely. He's, he's, he's probably been the best player in the comp for me this year. And I think he deserves all the accolades he gets. But he just needs to keep his head and, and keep composed keep ready and, and still still wanting to do better and still learning because he's still a young lad he's still 21 and still learning so yeah he's got a bright future he just needs to work hard and the, the good times will keep coming for him going to celebrate tonight uh we'll go, i'll have a few waters all about recovery and that but <laughs> nah, I'll, I'll, we'll celebrate it well and we'll train hard in the week and we'll get ready to go again